This is Electric Universe Geology Earth News. Actually, Earth slash Mars News. Um, there's kind of a relationship, I think. Anyway, a lot of people have been talking about Vals Marinaris and how it was ripped out and it covers Georgia, all the clay, and this and that, and they're certain that it's been surgically removed by electricity. The canyon, Vals Marinaris, this area in here. There's no doubt in anybody's mind. This is EU dogma. And I'm kind of into it myself. It kind of looks like that. It certainly looks like a barred spiral. Just like Wall Thornhill says, here's the canyon. And then this one comes around. Boom, bitty, boom. There we go. There's one bar. And this one comes around. Boom, bitty, boom. Comes down to here. And this is low. Here's the, the graph over here showing you the elevation. Red and gray are much more elevated blue and green down here not so much so this side is very low it didn't accumulate too much this side is much much greater in elevation to my way of thinking this was electrically plated electroplated with more material than this side as if one is positive and one's negative and there's an electrode here or an electrode here here there's electrodes somewhere or two electrodes a positive and a negative and probably a Birkeland current and this is huge. It's a big part of Mars. So I've been bugging Billy Elverton for almost a year to somehow do experiments where instead of sapping dirt off the floor of his chamber, he releases it somehow from above. I suggested a leaf blower to blow dust in the air. I had a bunch of really bad ideas. Billy got a box with a screen and shook it and let the dust fall down from above with two charged electrodes, an anode and cathode. And he sent it to me. And it's like, wow, that's really cool. So now I'm going to show you Billy's video. So this is halfway through the experiment. I'm going to have the link posted beneath this video so anybody can watch it. It lasts for about 30 minutes. It has Ben Davidson in it. It has magnets. It has Billy explaining things to Ben. It was, an, it was a nice day for the two of them. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can start this. I don't have much room here. To run this run for a little bit. He's got dust coming down from above. It's dolomite and clay. And actually, I did request dolomite uh, over a period of time. And there's dust, and it's forming. And the idea is, here you have something kind of similar to Vals Marineris, these canyons. And then, it comes around here, comes up, and it forms an arc. And it comes over here, comes around, and forms an arc. It's similar to a barred spiral galaxy. This is kind of interesting, too. This is kind of interesting, too. But the idea is, the material is sorting itself out. And it's deeper over here than it is here, similar to Val's Marinaris, where one side has much greater elevation than the other side. And this area in here, if you look at the video, was never filled in. It was prevented from the very beginning while the area around it grew. Now, Mars has an atmosphere much different than Billy Elverton's backyard. Different gravity, different atmosphere, different everything. So you can't expect this to look exactly the same. But it's really similar. Now, if we can get Billy to go to Mars, he might be able to replicate this perfectly. He might have to stay there. It's a price we're willing to pay. Let's send Billy to Mars. Now, anyway, this is a different way of looking at Val's Marineris thanks to Billy Yelverton and his genius doing this stuff on a shoestring in his backyard. So yeah, barred spiral galaxy, canyons, mountains, mountains coming around. All of these things could be mountains back here actually. This all goes to my theories, these circular mountain formations just like the southwest. This blew my mind. Let's all say hooray for Billy. Thank you very much.